Well, the identity of who attacked Bim Bala last week in the parking lot still remains a mystery. The investigation continues tonight as we welcome you to Monday Night Raw. And here comes the lone wolf, Baron Corbin, set for action. Aaron Corbin tonight comes up against the prize fighter Kevin Owens and we will get to why this matchup is taking place in just a minute. Matchup has come about all because Baron Corbin lied about Kevin Owens' alibi when Steve Austin, our general manager here on the Red Brand, investigated Kevin Owens as to where he was at the time that Finn Balor was attacked in the parking lot. Owens said that he was making his way through the arena and that Baron Corbin saw him enter the arena. However, Corbin said that he didn't. We come to find out that Corbin was the liar, not Kevin Owens. So Owens rightfully wants some retribution tonight, and he and will get it. From Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! A good old-fashioned grudge match here tonight between Owens and Corbin. As soon as Owens heard that Baron Corbin lied about his alibi, he asked General Manager Stone Cold Steve Austin for a matchup with the Lone Wolf, and tonight he has been granted that request. It is Owens versus Corbin to kick off Monday Night Raw here tonight. Who is going to walk out of this one as the victor? I don't know how anyone can get behind Baron Corbin after what he pulled last week. It was disgusting as, wait a minute, Corbin rolling out of the ring. Owens is ready for a fight here this evening, but Corbin playing some mind games with the prize fighter, it seems. Corbin trying to get into the head of KO. Owens clearly amped up here tonight. He wants some retribution, and now Corbin telling Owens to back off and let him get in the ring. Owens obliging. And here we go. Oh, Corbin went for a shot there. Owens saw it coming. And now Kevin Owens teeing off on the lone wolf. Owens with some body shots as Corbin's up against the ropes. Gets sent off into a massive clothesline from KO. And Kevin Owens will gain control of this matchup in the early going. Big forearm smash. Oh, and now Corbin. Oh, firing back with some strikes of his own. Take down by Kevin Owens, and there's a shot to the arm. And remember, Baron Corbin, a former Golden Gloves boxing champion. Big clothesline there in the corner by Kevin Owens. And now, wait a minute, Kevin Owens with the cannonball. The cannonball there in the corner. And now Corbin picked back up to his feet. Kevin Owens pulls Corbin back into the backbreaker. And will that be enough to end the match up early on? No, just a one count for Kevin Owens. It's going to take more than that to put down the lone wolf. As, oh, what a close line there from Corbin now. And look at this. Rear chin lock applied. Baron Corbin trying to slow down some of that offense from the prize fighter. Corbin just wrenching away on the jaw of Kevin Owens. Corbin grounding Owens and there's a shot to the chest. And Owens really needs to create some separation if he can. But every time he tries, Corbin just wrenches away. And now Baron Corbin with a backbreaker of his own. Driving the knee right into the back of Kevin Owens. 
Kick to the midsection. And now Kevin Owens trying to battle back in this matchup. Trying to regain control. Head first goes Corbin off the turnbuckle. And now Owens off that splash in the corner. Delivers a springboard elbow drop. Great athleticism there by Kevin Owens. Hooks the leg once again, only for a one count. Another one count there for Kevin Owens. Big right hand from Kevin, uh, from Corbin rather. And now it's Baron Corbin with some body shots. And a clothesline. Another big clothesline there from Baron Corbin. And there's a stomp to the midsection as well. Oh, but there's a back elbow. The back elbow caught Baron Corbin right in the gut. And Corbin winded. Vertical suplex by Kevin Owens. And Corbin rolling out this time to the apron of the ring. Big shot right there to the face. And there's another one. Corbin putting that Golden Gloves boxing background to his advantage. Oh, what an uppercut. And now Corbin talking some trash to KO. That is kind of the MO of Baron Corbin. Knee driven right there to the back of the head. And again, Corbin showboating, talking some trash now to the WWE fans. Oh, what a right hand. And Owens could be out after that one. Kevin Owens has not moved since that right hand from the Lone Wolf. And now Corbin. Oh, wait a minute. Kevin Owens with the elbows. Creating some separation right there. Big forearm from Kevin Owens. And again, Corbin sent into the corner. And Corbin slammed down to the canvas. Kevin Owens off the middle rope with a splash. Right across the midsection of Corbin. Will this be enough to put away the Lone Wolf? No. A two count that time though for the prize fighter. And now Kevin Owens lining up Baron Corbin for something. Oh, the super kick right on the jaw. What a super kick into the cover goes Owens. And Corbin again will stay in this matchup. Corbin not going down easy. As now Kevin Owens with the boot right to the chest. And that'll drive the wind right out of Baron Corbin, that's for sure. Oh, well now Kevin Owens may be thinking about the stunner. And if this hits, it could all be over, but Baron Corbin saw it coming. Baron Corbin off the reversal. Drives Owens into the canvas with a massive spine buster. And now Kevin Owens picked back up to his feet. There's another right hand. And Corbin with a second one in a row. Owens is in a lot of trouble. As now Kevin Owens sent into the corner. And Corbin with another clothesline. Kevin Owens in a lot of trouble. And now wait a minute. Corbin sending the prize fighter to the outside of the ring. And what the hell is Corbin thinking here? The referee beginning his count to 10 as there's a stomp right to the midsection. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. As now Baron Corbin, oh, looking for a power bomb, but Owens able to reverse. And there's a stomp right to the face of Corbin. Corbin, no doubt, thinking about some sort of power bomb, maybe into those still steps. Owens found the reversal. And now Kevin Owens, once again, taking it to the Lone Wolf. Corbin into the barricade, and now Kevin Owens teeing off. Once again, he needs to pay attention to the count though. And Owens realizing that the count was up to seven. Owens resetting the count and now looking to go back on the offensive. And now Corbin, oh, almost got sent into the steps there. Corbin, I think, managed to evade. But now Kevin Owens, oh, and that time Corbin will. Be sent into the steps. Oh, big uppercut. And Corbin trying to fight back. 
knee to the midsection of Kevin Owens. And now a falcon arrow on the outside. The referee continuing his count. Baron Corbin now back into the ring. Count of eight from the official is Corbin going to win by count out. Owens is stirring and Corbin realizing. And now Baron Corbin no doubt with some devious intentions in mind as Owens gets sent down to the floor. Baron Corbin with deep six. Deep six on the outside of the ring. And I think Baron Corbin's going to try and win this by count out. The referee continuing his count to 10. Five. Count of five by the official. And Kevin Owens again is stirring. And oh, what a shot there to the back. And now Corbin lying in wait. Baron Corbin waiting for Kevin Owens to get back to his feet. Oh my God, end of days on the outside. Nine. Count of nine from the official. And Baron Corbin is going to take a count out. Are you joking? Here is your winner, Baron Well, Kevin Owens is not going to take too kindly to that. A count-out victory for the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin, here tonight on Raw. That is certainly not what Kevin Owens had in mind, I'll tell you that. And wait a minute, Kevin Owens back to his feet. I have no idea how. Stunner! A stunner to Baron Corbin. And the issues between these two men are far from over. Kevin Owens with a bit of retribution tonight, nevertheless, over Baron Corbin. And at the end of this matchup, it is Kevin Owens that stands tall over the lone wolf. Baron Corbin wins the matchup, but Kevin Owens gets the last law. It takes a certain type of individual to lie about somebody else's alibi when there's a very important investigation afoot. Nevertheless, I hope Corbin learns something. Probably not, though. Well, still to come your way tonight, guys. The Universal Championship number one contender tournament will continue when the show of Dolph Ziggler takes on the one and only Ricochet. And in our main event this evening, Andrade will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Scottish Terminator, Drew McIntyre. And you've got to ask, will Finn Balor's attacker be revealed tonight? Last week did not yield any results. Will tonight be different? The investigation continues. Well, Dolph Ziggler and Shinsuke Nakamura have alibis, but still no luck for our general manager in trying to find out who attacked Finn Balor last week. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Shimon, New Jersey, Sonya. Well, there is Sonya Deville. She is set for action here next on the Red Brand. Women's division action coming your way, and currently Sonya Deville is 1 and 0 oh in her win loss record since the new year began. She has defeated the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. But tonight, she comes up against a veteran of the business, 
in Natalia. We are about to see how Sonya Deville fares against the daughter of Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Here comes Natalia. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Natalia has one loss under her belt since the new season began. And tonight she looks to even up her win-loss record by knocking off the pride fighter, Sonya Deville. If you're just joining us here tonight on Monday Night Raw, before the break, Baron Corbin was able to knock off Kevin Owens in one-on-one -on -one competition. But Kevin Owens left Baron Corbin laying after the match with a stunner. So the issues between those two men are far from over. As Natalia, oh, gets speared by Deville. Sonya Deville out of the gate going off to Natalia. And Natalia in a bad way as this matchup gets underway. Sonya Deville now, look at these kicks. And now Natalia trying to battle back here against the Pride Fighter. Big chop across the chest. And now Natalia with the shoulder tackles in the corner. Oh, and there's a stomp right to the chest. And Natalia gaining control now. Northern Light Suplex with a bridge. Shoulders down for a one count. Oh, what a chop. Did you hear that? And a leg drop to follow. Natalia remaining in control of this one as now the grounded headlock has been applied. Natalia just trying to ground Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville, of course, with an MMA background. She knows something about grounding superstars. Snapmare takedown, knee to the spine. And Deville, just like that, has changed the tide around in this matchup. Gut wrench suplex now by Deville. Will that be enough to score a big win over Natalia? No, just a one count. Natalia looking to even up her win-loss record as there's a takedown by Deville. And Deville following up with a knee. Right to the skull of Natalia. And now the ground and pound by Deville. Oh, and the arm of Natalia slammed into the mat. Deville keeping up the pressure, but Natalia found the reversal. Snap there, takedown now by Natty. And Natalia with a massive boot to the face. Deville gets picked back up to her feet. And now Natalia looking for that sit up power bomb. Cover by Natalia. And Deville stays in it. Only a two count there for the daughter of Jim the Anvil, Neidhart. Natalia looking for the shot. Kick to the midsection by Deville. And there's a knee to follow up. And now Natalia struggling to stand. Using the ropes to get back up to her feet. Deville now though. Double leg takedown. And there's a slingshot into the bottom rope. Natalia picked back up to a vertical base. Deville looking for the square up kick. Natalia able to sidestep into the Dragon Suplex with a bridge. Shoulders down here on Deville and a kick out at two. Quite the competitive matchup thus far between these two women as what a kick there by Natalia. A kick right to the midsection of Sonya Deville. And now Deville trying to fight back up to her feet. Here comes Deville now, close line, wipes out Natalia. Front face lock applied, Deville into the scoop slam. Oh, and there's a PK, right to the spine. And Deville feeling good about herself right now. She has taken over this matchup. Big right hand into the Russian leg sweep. And Deville again with the ground and pound. 
The fists are flying. Oh, we're now Sonya Deville into the triangle submission. And this could be the end for Natalya in this matchup. The triangle has been locked in. What is Natalya going to do? She's trying to fight it. And she manages to create separation. Big forearm smash by Natalya. And now Deville in the grasp of the daughter of Jim the Anvil, Neidhart, snap their takedown. And oh, Natalia, basement drop kick. Natalia to put away Deville. No, only for a two count. And now Natalia looking for the sharpshooter. The legendary Hawk family sharpshooter. And Natalia couldn't connect it. Deville with the kicks, and another leg sweep. And Sonya Deville reminding everyone that she is the Pride Fighter. And the crowd are loving her as there's the triangle locked in again. The triangle has been locked in again by Sonya Deville, and Natalia may have no choice this time but to submit. But look at the resilience of Natty. Again able to escape the hold. Another forearm smash by Natalia. And now into the backbreaker. And look at this. Natalia just stretching out to Ville on her knee. Natalia can't get caught up in the moment. She needs to stay on Deville. And now Deville sent into the corner. Natalia follows up with a clothesline. And will this be enough? Shoulders down here on the Pride Fighter, but Deville again is able to raise the shoulder in time. And Deville back to her feet. Oh, nice sweep of the legs right there. And now Natalia picked back up to a vertical base. And Sonia Deville. Oh, with a spine buster. Back first into the canvas goes Natalia and Deville is all fired up. It may just be a matter of time before this matchup comes to a close. Big shoulder tackle in the corner. And a knee. And Natalia may be out. She may not have a clue where she's at right now. And Sonia Deville setting up Natalia for Deville's advocate. Shoulders down here on Natty. Sonya Deville takes another victory. And that is a big win for the Pride Fighter. Here is your winner, Sonya Deville. Deville just knocked off a third generation wrestler in Natalia. That is big.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to continue the Universal Championship number one contender tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Cedric Alexander, representing High Energy from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet set for action in the Universal Championship number one contender tournament. He comes up against the show off. Well, let's take a look at the updated tournament bracket. Last week here on Monday Night Raw, Drew McIntyre and Andrade were able to advance to the next round. Later tonight, we will see Andrade take on Drew McIntyre in one-on-one -on -one action to see who will join the winner of this matchup between Dolph Ziggler and Ricochet in the finals of this tournament. Again, the winner of this tournament will receive a Universal Championship match against the Fiend Bray Wyatt at Super Showdown, live on pay-per-view. It is Ziggler versus Ricochet next in this tournament. Cedric Alexander, Ricochet's tag team partner, of course, will remain at ringside as there's the bell we are underway. And these two men will lock up to begin proceedings. Dolph Ziggler with the go behind. And there's a takedown by the show off. And there's the amateur wrestling background of the show off coming into play. But now Ricochet has the head scissors applied. And Ziggler able to escape back into that grounded headlock. Goes Ziggler. But again Ricochet able to get back up to his feet. Headlock now of his own locked in. And Dolph Ziggler able to escape the headlock. And there's a drop kick right to the chest. And Ziggler talking some trash to Ricochet. Big stomp. And now Dolph Ziggler dropping an elbow right to the chest. And Ziggler gaining the advantage in the early stages of this matchup. Back elbow there by Ziggler. Forearm smash by Ricochet. And now Ricochet off the super kick. Oh my goodness, what a move. Standing corkscrew shooting star press, but Ziggler able to get the shoulder up. Only a one count there for Ricochet, as now Ziggler gets sent into the corner. And Ricochet sending Ziggler to the apron. The one and only with a springboard drop kick. Sending Ziggler to the outside of the ring. And Ricochet now turning this matchup around. In comes Ziggler with another back elbow. No Ricochet able to counter. Big forearm and a kick there by Ricochet. Drops Ziggler to the mat. Ziggler picked back up to his feet. Now up onto the shoulders. And Ricochet, no Ziggler. Reverse DDT. And the show off once again. Gonna drop the elbow. Ziggler back in command. Oh, there's a sit-out face buster. Face first into the mat goes Ricochet. Basement drop kick now to follow. And Ziggler back in control here in this very important matchup. And once again back into that grounded headlock. Ziggler doing his thing and he's showing off. Ricochet picked back up to his feet again. And Dolph Ziggler with a measured punch right to the face. And now Ricochet sent into the corner. Dolph Ziggler with the jabs right to the midsection. Oh, and now look at this. Ziggler choking Ricochet in the corner. Driving his knee right into the face of Ricochet. 
Cedric Alexander looking on from ringside. Kick to the midsection by Ziggler. Into the net breaker. And a troubled look on the face of Ricochet's tag team partner. As now Ricochet is up against the ropes. Dolph Ziggler sends him off. And Ziggler with a close line. Into the cover goes the show off. To advance in this tournament. No. Ricochet out at one. Still a ways away from getting the victory it appears. Is Dolph Ziggler. But now Ricochet trying to fight back. And Dolph Ziggler gets set up against the ropes. Ricochet firing up himself. But Ziggler with a back elbow. Went for the punch. Ricochet with a punch of his own. Following up with a chop across the chest. And Ziggler again up against the ropes. Reversal by Ziggler. Ricochet across the back. Able to dodge there. And there's a head scissor takedown. Kip up into the drop kick. And Ricochet is rolling. Ricochet with a second wind. Standing shooting star press. Is that enough to put away Ziggler in advance in the tournament? No, Ziggler remains in this. And now Dolph Ziggler. Fisherman suplex with a bridge. Ziggler now to advance. No, Ricochet stays alive. Only a two count there for Ziggler. And now Dolph Ziggler with a chin lock applied. Ziggler trying to slow down the momentum of Ricochet. Trying to keep the high flyer grounded. Great strategy here by Ziggler. But now Ricochet trying to make it back up to his feet. And he does. Ricochet looking to create separation. And he manages to do so. There's a standing drop kick from the one and only. And now Dolph Ziggler slowly making it back up to his feet. Ziggler up against the ropes. And Ricochet with the stun gun into the neck breaker. Great combination there by Ricochet as he hooks the outside leg to advance in this tournament. No, another kick out. Very competitive matchup here between these two. As Ziggler catching out Ricochet. Satellite DDT for the victory. To advance to the finals. No. Another near fall for the show off. And Ziggler may be getting frustrated now. The frustration may be setting in. As Ziggler looking for that fisherman suplex again. Ricochet rolls it through. And Ziggler kicks out. Oh, shot right there to the midsection. And now Ricochet grabbing a hold of Ziggler. Ziggler again set up against the ropes. Close line by Ricochet. To the outside goes Ziggler. And now Ricochet going to take to the skies. Fosbury flop. This is awesome chance for the WWE fans. Can Ricochet follow up? Ricochet shooting star no. Ziggler got his knees up. And now Ziggler with a kick to the midsection. Famous up by Ziggler. And will that be enough to put away Ricochet? Ziggler could be going to the finals. Oh my goodness. Ricochet got his shoulder up again. What resilience on the part of both of these men. Neither of these superstars want to give in. They both want to head to the finals of this tournament. All for a shot at the Universal Championship. As now Ricochet sent into the corner once again. Here's Ziggler with a stinger splash. No, Ricochet. Oh, drop kick and a kip up. Ricochet is a one of a kind superstar here on Monday Night Raw. Let's look at the strength. What a power bomb to go to the finals. Ziggler survives. You knew this matchup was going to be great when you saw it on paper. As now Ricochet with a forearm smash. Axe kick. Couple of kicks to the midsection and a tornado kick for good measure. What a combination there from the one and only. 
As now Ricochet going to take flight once again in this matchup. Ricochet going to do what he does best. Oh my god. Ziggler almost decapitated after that spinning heel kick. The cover here. And Ziggler somehow manages to stay in this matchup. And now Ricochet up to the middle rope. Ricochet going to fly off the middle rope now. And Ricochet, oh, lands on his feet. Dolph Ziggler, though, with another famous off. And Ricochet wisely rolling to the outside. And now Ricochet up on the apron. Oh, and Ziggler, what a cheap shot. Ziggler knocking Ricochet off of the apron. And now he looks to take advantage of that cheap shot. Dolph Ziggler measuring Ricochet. Measuring the one and only. Zigzag. And that could be it. I think Dolph Ziggler's done it, guys. No. Are you kidding me? How did Ricochet kick out of the zigzag? And now Dolph Ziggler looking for the super kick. If this hits, it's over. Oh, Ziggler caught him in the jaw. Ziggler with a super kick to the jaw. It has to be over. It is. Dolph Ziggler is going to the finals. Here is your winner, Dolph Ziggler. What a matchup between Dolph Ziggler and Ricochet. In the end though, Dolph Ziggler, the show-off, is heading to the finals of the Universal Championship number one contender tournament. We are back here on Monday Night Raw and there is our general manager Stone Cold Steve Austin. And oh, there's Braun Strowman. Well, Steve Austin may be onto something, but right now it's time for some more in-ring action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar. Well, there is Edge, the rated R superstar who is currently down two losses to zero victories. Edge desperately looking for a victory here tonight on the Red Brand. And here comes Sanity. The team of the War Tag Team Champions, Harper and Thunder Hale, and the leader, Eric Young. And his opponent, representing Sanity, from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 232 pounds. Well, this will be Eric Young's first matchup since the new season began here in WWE. Eric Young marching down to the ring, accompanied by Thunder Hale on the left and Harper on the right. 
Sanity were able to become the War Tag Team Champions, defeating the Viking Raiders at SummerSlam, ending the reign of the Raiders. And Eric Young has vowed to lead this new incarnation of Sanity to success. And I think it's safe to say he's already done it because Sanity are now the War Tag Team Champions. Sudden impact here on the red brand for Sanity. So this is Eric Young's first matchup since the season began. And he comes up against the Rated R Superstar Edge who is desperately looking to nip his losing streak in the bud. As there's the bell, and oh, Eric Young with a big right hand and also a shot from behind. Eric Young starting this out strong. No lock up here between these two, as, oh my God. Eric Young now with the ground and pound on edge. No remorse in the brain of Eric Young, that's for damn sure. And now again, Eric Young with the full mount and the punches raining down on the Rated R Superstar. And now look at this, the skull of Edge being bashed into the canvas. And you know that neck of Edge, that surgically repaired neck of Edge will be a vocal point here for the Savage of Sanity. Big elbow there to the spine of Edge and a kick to follow up. Edge needs to watch out for the members of Sanity who are lurking at ringside. Big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Here's the cover first one of this matchup, and Edge will kick out. Still early days in this matchup. Oh, what a knee! Right to the skull of Edge. And now Eric Young getting Edge back up to his feet. Front face lock applied, shot to the back. And now Edge, head first off the turnbuckle. And again, Eric Young, unloading on the Rated R Superstar. And now Eric Young driving his knee right into the skull. All Eric Young cares about is success for his creation. His creation being sanity. As uh oh, wait a minute. Edge with a kick. And is this the comeback now for the Rated R Superstar? That was a much needed reversal for Edge. And now here he comes. Edge building back some momentum. Face Buster to Eric Young. And now the Rated R Superstar getting back into this matchup. Eric Young picked back up to his feet. Kick to the midsection. And there's Execution. The cover. Hooking the outside leg is Edge to put away Eric Young. No, only a two count. And now Edge. Oh, dropping an elbow right to the skull of Eric Young. And there's a knee right to the spine as well. Edge well and truly back into this matchup now. Downward spiral. And will that be enough to put away the leader of Sanity? Cover on Young. And Eric Young gets the shoulder up in time. Oh, big shot from Eric Young. And now Young dropping edge down to one knee. And now Eric Young. Oh my God. A pile driver to edge. I thought that move was banned. Eric Young just hit Edge with a pile driver. And not again. Oh, a second one. No remorse from Eric Young. He just wants a victory. Come on. And somehow Edge managed to kick out of two pile drivers. Eric Young is in disbelief. He just froze right there. Another knee now to the skull of Edge and an elbow to the spine. Eric Young continuing the attack as Edge gets sent into the corner. Eric Young with the flying forearm smash. And now off the middle right. Oh, Edge out of the way. 
And now Edge hits Eric Young with a backbreaker. WWE fans here tonight firmly behind the rated R superstar. Oh, there's a stomp right to the face of Eric Young. And now Young back to his feet. Young sent into the corner. And Edge following up with a shoulder tackle. Oh, and that was a slap right across the face. Edge clearly not taking too kindly to the fact that Eric Young is going off to his surgically repaired neck. And now Eric Young with the reversal into the suplex. Vertical suplex by the leader of Sanity. And Eric Young may be closing in, looking for a pile driver, but Edge managed to reverse it that time. And now the Rated R Superstar in position. He's lining up Eric Young. Spear by Edge. The spear by Edge. Shoulders down. Edge. No. How did Eric Young kick out of that spear? And now, oh, Edge looking for the knee. May have tweaked it, though. And now Eric Young to take advantage. Death Valley Driver to put away the Rated R Superstar. This would be a huge win for the leader of Sanity, but Edge remains alive. The resilience of Edge coming into play. And now the frustration boiling over for Eric Young. Edge picked back up to his feet again. And now Eric Young sending him off the ropes. Power slam. Did you see the snap on that? And now the kick to the midsection. And once again, Eric Young going off to the surgically repaired neck of Edge. DDT. And oh, look at this. Eric Young cranking on the neck. The surgically repaired neck of Edge. No remorse from this sadistic SOB. But now Edge able to create separation. Spinning heel kick. Caught Eric Young. And now Edge thinking about a spear. Oh, he decides against it. Edge with something else uh, planned here. The Educator locked in here on Eric Young. And Eric Young may be forced to submit to the Educator. Submission maneuver locked in here on the leader of Sanity. But Eric Young finds a way out. And now Eric Young delivers a backbreaker of his own. Driving his knee right into the spine of Edge. And now Young raining down the elbows to the shoulder blades. Edge picked back up to his feet. Eric Young sending Edge into the corner once again. And now Edge being positioned on the top turnbuckle. Eric Young with something big on his mind. Avalanche arm drag. An arm drag off the top turnbuckle. Will this be enough to put away Edge? No, the resilient Edge finds a way to kick out again. Oh, and now Eric Young setting up Edge, setting up the Rated R Superstar, Will Barrow neck breaker. And Eric Young has put plenty of men away with that move. Will it be enough to put away Edge? No, it won't. How the hell is Edge still kicking in this matchup? I think Eric Young may be out of ideas. What else could he do here tonight to score a victory? Oh, Eric Young sending Edge to the outside. Edge trying to hang on, but he gets knocked off of the ring apron. And oh no, the members of Sanity have closed in on Edge. Eric Young's distracting the referee. Oh no, this is not good for Edge. Harper with a massive boot to the face. The referee didn't see it. And Harper sends Edge back into the ring. Oh no, are you kidding me? Not like this. Eric Young setting up Edge again for the wheelbarrow neckbreaker. 
Not this way. Come on. Eric Young has picked up the victory. Give the assist to Harper. Here is your winner, Eric Young. Thanks to Harper's big boot, Eric Young just picked up the win over Edge. Welcome back everybody to Monday Night Raw. It is time now for our main event of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Selena Vega, representing Vicious and Delicious. From Gomez, Palacio, Durango, Mexico. Weighing in at 215 pounds. Andrade! Well, let's take a look now at the updated tournament bracket. Earlier tonight, Dolph Ziggler was able to advance to the finals of this tournament. And we are about to find out who will be joining him there. Andrade comes up tonight against the Scottish Terminator. Drew McIntyre, and it's safe to say there is a lot of history between these two men. It was in fact Andrade that ended the NXT Championship reign of Drew McIntyre. And McIntyre, I guarantee you, has not forgotten about that. He was unable to get his obligatory rematch clause due to being injured in that matchup with Andrade. No doubt that fact is on the back of Drew McIntyre's mind coming into this matchup here tonight. Meanwhile, Andrade comes into this matchup with a win-loss record of one and two. He looks to make a positive win-loss record out of this matchup here tonight by picking up the win over the Scottish Terminator. Some say that is easier said than done, but let's not forget Andrade has done it before. He looks to do it again tonight. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And there is Drew McIntyre, who comes into this matchup tonight with a win loss record of 3 and 2. So I think it's safe to say that Andrade needs a victory here tonight more than the Scottish Terminator. Again, the winner of this tournament will go on to face the Fiend Bray Wyatt at Super Showdown for the Universal Championship. So here we go, our main event is now officially underway and Andrade hopping out of the ring to begin. And McIntyre wants Andrade to bring it on, but Andrade taking his time. We saw this earlier tonight with the Baron Corbin Kevin Owens matchup. It is all about mind games. And Andrade's playing some mind games with McIntyre right now. Andrade trying to get into the head of Drew McIntyre. Count of five from the official. Six. And McIntyre being held back by the official. And of course, now Andrade gets into the ring. And Andrade with a Hurricane Rana. 
Andrade waiting for his opportunity and he took it. Oh, but McIntyre levels Andrade with a massive clothesline. Flatline up from the Scottish Terminator. And now McIntyre gaining control in this matchup. And here's the ground and pound from Drew McIntyre. Andrade picked back up to his feet. And Andrade gets sent into the corner. McIntyre follows up. Flying full on smash. Stomp now to the midsection. And here's the power of Drew McIntyre. Wow. Deadlift gut wrench power bomb for the victory. No, only a one count. Still early days in our main event tonight. And Andrade again heading to the outside. McIntyre telling Andrade his mind games are not going to work. But Andrade is persistent. Andrade certainly came into this matchup with a strategy, that is for sure. And now Andrade, oh wait a minute, Springle drop kick, McIntyre didn't see it coming. And now Andrade has McIntyre up on his shoulders, but McIntyre with the elbows right to the skull. And now the Scottish Terminator slamming down Andrade. Release suplex by McIntyre. And Andrade now on the apron of the ring. And McIntyre again showing off that power. Big suplex. From the apron back into the ring comes Andrade. McIntyre in control. Can he keep things in his favour? There's another flat line up. This time hooks the leg right away. McIntyre to put away Andrade. No. Another one count. Oh, and there's a double axe handle right to the back of Andrade. And now Andrade again sent into that corner. McIntyre sending him across the ring. And oh, there's a kick right to the chest. McIntyre almost caving in the chest of Andrade. It could be enough. No, just a two count. Only a two count there for Drew McIntyre. He needs to keep up the pressure. But Andrade, oh, went for the open palm strike. There's a chop from the Scottish Terminator. And another flatliner. That is the third flatliner in this matchup now. As Drew McIntyre delivers the air raid crash. And will that be enough for Drew McIntyre to advance to the finals? No, Andrade again stays in this matchup. Both men want the opportunity to face the Fiend for the Universal Championship at Super Showdown. But wait a minute. Looking for the future short DDT was McIntyre. Beautiful counter from Andrade. These two know each other well. As now Andrade, backbreaker and a shot to the midsection. Andrade now into the cover to put away Drew McIntyre. But McIntyre able to power out at one. Oh, and there's an open palm strike. That time it connected right to the chest. And there's the spinning back elbow. McIntyre could be out of it. Referee slightly out of position. And that could cost Andrade here. And McIntyre gets the shoulder up in time. Andrade not going to be too pleased with the official right there. But he is going to take out his frustration on Drew McIntyre. The ground and pound from Andrade. McIntyre picked back up to his feet. Andrade rolls him up. Oh, but look at this. The strength of Andrade now coming into play. Here's a bridge. Shoulders down on McIntyre. Only for a two count. Well, what did I tell you? I said these two were going to steal the show. It has been a great matchup thus far. Head first off the turnbuckle goes McIntyre. And Andrade with a couple of forearms. And now heading up to the high rent district. Andrade looking for the moonsault. Turns it into a standing moonsault. The leg has been hooked. Andrade for the victory. No. This is a close back and forth battle. 
Any one of these superstars could advance to the finals of the tournament. Belly to belly suplex by Drew McIntyre. He just launched Andrade across the ring with ease. Andrade up against the ropes. And Drew McIntyre with the inverted Alabama slam. And now wait a minute, Drew McIntyre into a Boston Crab submission. Very uncharacteristically locking in a submission is McIntyre. Will Andrade tap out to the Boston Crab here? It may look like a regular Boston Crab, but let's not forget Chris Jericho has won matches with that submission. Andrade able to escape and he kicks away the Scottish Terminator. Separation made between these two as Andrade now. Wait a minute. Havelock DDT. The Havelock DDT connects for the victory. Oh, only a two count. And that has to mess with the psyche of Andrade. As Andrade looking to fly once again. Moonsault, but this time McIntyre got his knees up. McIntyre with the Glasgow kiss. What a headbutt. And now the Claymore kick is coming. Oh, but wait a minute. Andrade sidesteps. And now Andrade with a forearm. A second one. Make that a trifecta of forearm smashes. But now Drew McIntyre. Power bomb to Andrade. What a matchup this is. Two of the very best here on Monday Night Raw. Fighting for a shot at the Universal title. Another belly-to-belly -belly suplex there by Drew McIntyre. And Andrade again sent into the turnbuckle. And now positioned on the top rope. Drew McIntyre, what the hell is this about to be? Oh, sit out Spinebuster off the top. Come off. Drew McIntyre could have him beat, but no, Andrade raises the shoulder in time. And there's another double axe handle to the back of Andrade. McIntyre may be closing in, hammerlock applied now by McIntyre. Another submission from the Scottish Terminator. Can Andrade hang on? Yes, he can. Northern right suplex by Andrade with a bridge, shoulders down, oh! Trying to catch McIntyre by surprise there, it did not pay off, oh but that might! Fisherman Tribal planting McIntyre on the canvas, but McIntyre is still in this! And now Andrade getting Drew McIntyre back up to his feet. Maybe looking for the Hammerlock DDT there. But Drew McIntyre had a counter. Oh, Claymore kick on the rebound to the ropes. McIntyre the cover. Drew McIntyre will meet Dolph Ziggler in the finals. It will be Drew McIntyre facing Dolph Ziggler in the finals of the Universal Championship number one contender tournament. Congratulations to McIntyre. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dolph Ziggler's here. Ziggler with a super kick to McIntyre. Drew never saw it coming. And Dolph Ziggler just laid out his opponent for next week when this tournament comes to a close. The finals go down next week on Raw. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. It's Bray Wyatt. Oh, Sister Abigail the Ziggler. The Universal Champion is here. And it's safe to say the Fiend Bray Wyatt will be watching very closely when this tournament concludes with the finals next week. And now the Fiend with Sister Abigail to Drew McIntyre as well. The Fiend has just laid out both competitors 
in the finals of this tournament. Who will get a shot at the Universal title at Super Showdown? We will find out next week here on Raw.